In this video we will look at creating an assembly drawing. To start out here I've already imported some data. Uh, if you go to the design tab you can see that data, get information about the data, show different views of the data. Uh, but what we're going to do here is go ahead and drop a view on our assembly drawing. We'll go ahead and drop a top side view using drag and drop. And let's zoom into that so take a look at it. So here you can see we have our components uh, shown here by default. Uh, if I right click and go to format PCB view, I'm presented with, with many options on how to display the data. I can choose what information I want to display. For instance, if I want to display other information other than the uh, top side components, I could click on those. I can hit preview here and it'll actually show me uh, what information. Uh, I can get a little more complex than that in that I can choose components, decals or footprints, what layers, what drills to show. All this information is available to me. I have choices over colors, fill, uh, the line styles for the components, whether to show the reference designators, the outlines, show the pads. So all this is available to me and, it, it, and I can even decide which components to show as well. So it does give me uh, many, many options in showing uh, views of the PCB. And I'll just click through a few of them here. You can see the layers. I can show them as layers as well. And even drills I can choose and maybe just do my tooling holes, for instance, which is really common. So all of that's available to the user uh, as far as how they want to show the views on the assembly drawing. So I'm going to go back here to uh, to the uh, regular menu and turn it back off and just show my uh, top side components as we were doing previously. Sorry. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is actually drag a bottom side view down. Now I could have formatted the top side view to show the bottom side view, but in this case, you know, I'll just drag and drop a bottom side view, and we go ahead and flip over the uh, the reference designator so that you can read them and you're looking at this design as if you were looking through the bottom of the board. Now that we have a couple views placed on the drawing, go ahead and zoom out here a little bit. Let's go ahead and add some assembly notes. Uh, you can also add notes um, to your drawing. You can add them by call out number, so forth, snap them to a board, that sort of thing. Next thing we might want to do is maybe add an exploded view. So we'll just simply drag and drop an exploded view over here and choose uh, what area we want to show on the board and then let's go ahead and make this exploded view a little bit bigger. And one of the nice things is, is you know, you can move this around but once you find the area you don't have to show the exact same thing you're showing on the PCB view. You can actually format the exploded view to show different items. So we'll go over here to the PCB CAD data, and uh, instead of the components, I'll show everything else on this particular design. And as you can see, you can fine-tune it and move it to a certain location, and you now have an exploded view uh, of the design as well. Another thing you might want to do to an assembly drawing would be to import data from other sources. So let's go ahead and bring in some data via DXF. As you can see, we can also bring in PDF as well. And in this example, I'm just going to bring in one of these face plates. When you do bring it in, it goes into our imported files uh, task pane here. And then when you want to place it on the actual drawing, you just drag and drop it to the location that you want. So we've quickly created an assembly drawing. This is a somewhat simple one. You can get a lot more complex. You can show a lot more items. And we will cover those in, a, in another video. Thank you for your time.